Hi, I'm Fiona, author of 25 Foods Kids Hate and How to Get Them Eating 24. And welcome back to my Video Jug Cooking for Kids series with Net Mums. So in this episode, I am doing my favorite nutty noodles with traffic light veg. And you see, sometimes with kids, it's all about how you market and PR dishes. So this is a good example of exactly that. Red pepper, amber carrot, and green broccoli. And I wanna show you some tips in terms of how I prepare my veg that hopefully might help you out a little bit um, with making things quick and easy. Peppers, first of all. When you're chopping veg or anything, always chop on a flat surface just because it's safe and easy. So I'm going to just chop off the end of the pepper, sit it flat, now it's going nowhere, and then treat it like a box. So one side, two sides, three sides, there's my fourth side. And then all you have to do is literally, keeping it flat still, is slice little pieces, just like that. Um, now, with broccoli, I love scissors in the kitchen, um, and I find it so much easier to take the little tiny florets, because kids sometimes are funny with broccoli, it's a bit too bitter for them, and just chop off the top. Like, say to them you're giving it a haircut, they, they love that, and then just chop off like that. Isn't that quick and easy? Carrots in stir fries, use a vegetable peeler for Carrot ribbons. Again, kids love the idea of ribbons. Little girls especially. Okay, so I'm gonna finish prepping up the chicken and all this veg, and for the full ingredients and directions, they're all in the description box. Now I've got a really cost-effective and such a tasty marinade for stir fries. And you know what, sometimes I use this for pasta as well. It's my, my nutty marinade. I'm going to use a sweet chili sauce, a couple of uh, tablespoons. Young kids might find it a little bit too spicy, so you know, cut back if you want to. Um, I'm also going to use for some of those gorgeous Thai inspired flavors, a couple of teaspoons of sesame oil. There we go. Um, juice of half a lime. So my favorite tip of squeezing it through the fingers to catch all the pips. Our Net Mums fans, hello Net Mums fans, have been voting on what my secret ingredient is. So it's kind of obvious, I guess, from the nutty noodles, but yes, peanut butter. Um, a great sandwich filler, but also brilliant in savory dishes. And uh, really, again, is, is kind of, for me, it reminds me of those uh, wonderful Thai flavors. It's kind of like a satay sort of dish. And I'm gonna add some hot water from the kettle just to bring the whole thing together. Then all you do is stir, okay, and combine the whole thing. And this is another great job for kids, you know, get them involved, get them stirring, get them mixing, you know, everything, every time you get them involved in whatever you're cooking, they're so much more invested to actually eat what they're creating. So, again, thank you, Net Mummers, for your fantastic uh, questions that we've been having uh, when we've launched this series. I have got some more questions to answer, so let's have a little look. Uh, first of all, we are going to talk to Emma. Now, Emma says, Fiona, I'm really worried about my teenage daughter. She used to eat everything, but since she went to secondary school, she's become really fussy. This often happens, actually. It's peer pressure, isn't it? I found out she's been going down the town to, to the chip shop for lunch. As she doesn't like anything in the dinner hall, and she skips breakfast and leaves all her veg in our evening meal. Do you have any ideas as to how I can get her enthusiasm for food back and how I can get her to make healthier choices? Oh, you know, Emma, it's really hard. I do sympathize, and this happens a lot, like I said. And it's all to do with peer pressure, everything you probably already have figured out. My best tip, actually, is probably the one that you might not want to hear because it's so simple that you may have thought of it yourself. Get cooking with her, you know? Get her in the kitchen with you of an evening, of a weekend. Give her choices. 
get her to come shopping with you, give her choices like should we have fish tonight or chicken or this or that and actually get her there chopping, teach her tips, teach her stuff that you know and I find that when you get kids cooking of whatever age they want to eat what they've made, they get excited and they get creative but also the wonderful thing with teenagers is they begin talking to you in a way that perhaps they wouldn't face to face. I call it kind of chop and chat. So as she's chopping the vegetables and as you're alongside doing whatever else, then you can get inside her head and have some wonderful conversations and I find that really works. So um, Emma, good luck with that. I've also had another message uh, which is all the way down here from Sarah. Sarah says, I've got good eaters in the house, but working full time means my time is limited. I find myself cooking convenience food during the week and then home cooking at the weekend, but I feel awful eating freezer to microwave on far too regular a basis. I'd love to cook homemade much more often, but really struggle. Do you have any good time-saving tips for busy mums, Fiona? Well, yes, I'm a busy mum myself. I'm completely frantic the whole time. I do have lots of tips, but the first tip I want to say to you, Sarah, is please don't feel guilty because you know what, I, I don't cook from scratch every single, every single day. Mostly I do, but there are times that I grab a, a, a pizza from the supermarket and a little tip here is don't feel guilty about blinging up something. So get your shop bought pizza, don't make it, but add on your veg, you know, add on some fun stuff, add on some herbs. It's like a 50-50 compromise. Um, two more tips for you as well. Cook double, freeze half, so at the weekend when you're doing your scratch cooking, make twice as much and then let the second lot cool down in the freezer and midweek you can just pull it out, leave it to defrost, it's done. Slow cooking. And if you head on to Netmums, and again with Video Jug as well, you can use the subscribe button, you'll find loads and loads of recipes for slow cooking. It's fantastic and really is worthwhile getting involved with. So there we have it. Pretty much as well, everything's done, we're about to go. And now we just put everything together. So I've got some oil heating in a wok. I'm going to add my pepper, my chicken that I've cooked already, my carrot ribbons, my broccoli, and obviously you stir fry the stir fry. Some noodles. I'm using cooked egg noodles for convenience. And I find with my kids, if I chop them up, as I'm doing it, it just saves me a job later when it's like, mummy, can you cut up my food? So I'm doing it already. And again, you know, play up to your kids the fact that these are traffic light veg. You've got the green, you've got the red, you've got the orange carrot and get them talking, get them thinking about, you know, other veg, other colors, the colors of the rainbow and get them really inspired with their five a day. And in fact, I'd love to hear, we'd all at Video Jug love to hear how you get your kids eating better foods, healthier dinners, they're five a day, so tweet us at Video Jug Food or find us on Facebook as well. And lastly, the marinade. And just stir it through. Right, we're done. How easy is that? So I'm gonna serve up and I have a couple of nice serving tips for you as well. First of all, and this is optional, some sesame seeds, if you have some, really nice touch and full of some healthy omegas as well. So if you've got kids who are vegetarian or you are, um, and you worry about missing out on those omegas from fish, then uh, sesame seeds or any seeds are great for that. And another, little posh bling add-on, um, which does make a difference in taste, is some fresh coriander. I love coriander. Lots of my friends don't, bizarrely, but I really, really do. And it looks pretty as well on the plate. So um, there we have it, my nutty noodles with some chicken as well and traffic light veg. So that's it. Join me next time for another in our video jug cooking for kids series with Net Mums. Mm, it's good.